The recent waves of protests led by Kenyan Gen Zs have been rapidly spreading to other African nations, most notably Nigeria. Fueled by frustration with corrupt governance, the protests reflect the fearless and unified spirit of a generation that transcends tribal divisions. This generation has grown weary of the long-standing influence of colonialism in Africa and has been closely observant of the injustices taking place. It's evident that they are determined to put an end to the remnants of colonial rule and bring about positive change for the continent. Before I delve further into the global spread of Gen Z protests, I came across a video from Kenya that I believe is pertinent to today's discussion. This video will provide insight into the topic at hand. The Gen Zs are not fighting against flesh and blood. Theirs is a fight against principalities and powers, rulers of darkness and wickedness in high places. Gen Zs don't want to kill anybody, even though we are killing them. We have snipers in this building to kill our young people. They are not fighting flesh and blood, Mr. Speaker. It is about wickedness in high places. Parliament, state house, city hall, governor's premises across the nation. It is wickedness in high places that the Gen Zs are fighting against. It was not even the finance bill, Mr. Speaker, that was the problem. The finance bill was a catalyst. All this started when we decided to force on Kenyans a housing law. In fact, it's a good thing that those young people came to parliament because we are the ones who passed a housing law and told the young people they can go to hell if they want. We are the ones who passed a health law which nobody understands today. Mr. Speaker, those people who work for the National Health Insurance Fund, they have no certainty. They don't know whether they have a job. Leave alone a job, they don't even know whether they have a health cover. And yet they work for the National Health Insurance Fund. It was this parliament that brought about that kind of wickedness that many of our people today do not have health cover. Today, children in schools do not have health cover. Something that we thought would be a constitutional guarantee it was taken away, and this parliament kept quiet about it. Mr. Speaker, the Gen Zs are fighting about the neocolonialism that we are seeing today. When Kenyans are complaining about their government, the first person to respond to us is the American ambassador in PowerPoint presentations, telling us how our elections are free and fair, telling us how our president has been sent from God. Over the past three weeks, the youth in Kenya have been making waves globally with their innovative approach to protest and their use of social media as a platform for self-expression. Their protests against proposed tax reforms have seen thousands of young Kenyans taking to the streets, signifying a notable shift in the sphere of youth activism and advocacy in Africa. A striking image depicting a vibrant crowd of young people, clad in trendy attire and fervently protesting on the streets of Nairobi, quickly circulated online within mere hours, serving as a powerful testament to the burgeoning influence of Generation Z on Africa's political landscape. The image seemed to convey a resolute message that there would be a departure from the norms of the past. This image prominently featured a sizable placard bearing the words, Reject Finance Bill, accompanied by the imprint of Gen Z on the attire of the protesters. It resonated deeply with a generation grappling with issues of unemployment exorbitant interest rates and elevated taxes. Moreover, this protest marked the first instance of concerted action by the youth in Kenya, encompassing a visually appealing and social media friendly look that embodies not only a new epoch, but also the zeal and drive of a fresh generation. After the recent protest in Kenya, the youth in several African countries, including Nigeria, have been inspired to stand up and fight for a better future for their countries. In Nigeria, the hashtag hash Tinubumusko has been trending alongside a photo with the caption, End Bad Government in Nigeria 2024. This photo also outlines the reasons for the upcoming protest in Nigeria, scheduled to begin on August 1st. This echoes the same spirit and determination that sparked the protests in Kenya, and it's a significant moment for the African youth. It's worth celebrating that the Kenyan government has responded to the concerns raised by the young people. Meanwhile, in Ghana, the youth had planned to stage a protest against what they perceive as poor governance. However, the protest did not materialize as anticipated due to low turnout among the youth. 
Championship. Ghana, for we should be disappointed in ourselves. We should be very disappointed in ourselves because it hurts so much when people have sacrificed whatever it takes to be there to fight for the ordinary Ghanaian. Come here and look at the number of people here, and no wonder the 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 the, 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 the journalist is asking that your sympathizers. We are not sympathizers. We are fellow Ghanaians who believe in injustice not to be served on the pressure. people of Ghanaians. We are Ghanaians who have come to be conscious of ourselves in our dem democratic governance that is not going right with the ordinary Ghanaian. These things are being perpetrated on Ghanaians everywhere we go. But yet, who is fighting for the ordinary Ghanaian? And this young man here has dedicated himself to fix the country, have dedicated ourselves to fight for the ordinary Ghanaian. The least ordinary Ghanaian out there who is being victimized, who is being uh, 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 served with injustice, have to come out here and say that we stand with you in all that you are doing. But what do we see? It is very disappointing. Five reasons why Cameroonians can never go on the street to protest like Kenyans are doing. Number one, who will lead us? Who is going to lead Cameroonians on the street to protest like Kenyans? Hmm? We have good politicians who go on TV, preach and preach and preach, but nobody has the God to go on the street to protest. Are they mad? Number two, who will give you the permission to go and protest? In Cameroon, before you want to protest in any region, you have to write a letter to the governor of that region telling him that you want to protest. So you write a letter, Mr. Governor, we want to protest against the high cost of identity card in Cameroon. Are you mad? Who is going to grant you that permission to protest? And if you don't have permission, my dear, be guaranteed to go to prison for a very long period of time. Number three, Cameroonians are afraid of tear gas and bullets. In fact, even if it's rubber bullets, we don't want it to come close to us. Because I will not leave my house to go, to go and protest against high cost of living in Cameroon. And then at the end of the day, I am spending the hospital or bailing myself from prison. Do you know how much it costs to bail somebody from prison in Cameroon? In fact, the prices ranges. For us whose face are like this, and the price increases, my man. The price increases. So no, I will stay in my house and I will not go out of to protest. Number four. The slogan of our president in the last election was the force of experience. The force. The force, power of experience. So Ruto is just coming new. People are protesting. Our own have been there for long. You cannot. We have tactics that will help to keep you guys to stay at your home. You want to protest. Are you mad? Number five, it's like Kenya military slap and Cameroon military slap is different. It's like Kenya military, because you see a lady shouting in front of a, of, of, of a, of, of a military man, we want freedom. We, are you mad in Cameroon? You want which freedom? Only slap for your face. You rethink, double think, overthink, then underthink, and then she knows for your ass quietly. Yes. So you see why, why Kenyans are different from Cameroonians. Anyways, Kenyans, we see what you're doing. Kudos to you. We hope that one day we'll get a kind of a get a for a for street to one protest against high. Based on my observations of the Kenyan Gen Z, it seems that there is a growing sentiment that Africa is on the path to freedom and that the continent will eventually regain its freedom. In any case, I would appreciate your insights on the video. Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing the content. Additionally, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below.